Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to be looking at Euro Yen as we could be looking out for a breakout opportunity on our lower time frames. But before we get to that I wanted to just explain what's going on in the higher time frame, see if we could look for an opportunity to trade to the upside. And we can see here, we actually can see prices working within a bullish channel and price recently has retested the low of the bullish channel and has rebounded quite significantly. So if the market continues to move this way, this week will show us a nice bullish close after a rejection of the trend line support, which could suggest that the market is going to move into an impulsive phase back within the bullish channel and maybe even back up to the 148 handle here. So bigger picture looks like we could try to the upside here. Obviously, fundamentally as well, um, the ECB are looking to hike interest rates. Um, obviously, we know the Bank of Japan uh, are, are very neutral on their stance, so not really much happening there. So Euro Yen could still continue to push to the upside. Now, there are a couple of caveats in the way of that. So if I just go down to a daily time frame, you can see here that we actually have a sort of bearish channel within the bullish channel here. So what that means is basically that within that sort of weekly or monthly sort of retracement phase here, the daily has been making those lower lows and lower highs. So I'm looking to see if price will sort of either come back down to make the 142.75 and continue to the upside, or whether we come back up to the bearish channel, maybe even follow the bearish channel until a breakout move occurs here. So that's the kind of first idea for a breakout opportunity. I want to see if price will trade through this trend line resistance here. And if it does, can we see price head towards that 148 handle? Now, if I go even lower, we can look at the four hour time frame and just highlight actually where we spoke about Euro Yen the last time we featured it in a video was when we were talking about the breakout of this consolidative move uh, with this candlestick here. And we actually talked about targets down at the 142 spot 75 or even the 140 um, one handle, which was this larger time frame trend line support. And you can see here, if you waited all that way, you had a nice 400 pip target there for price to move to the downside now just to kind of go into that a little bit further where the breakout opportunity lives for me at the moment is on this hourly time frame okay so whether we're going to get the push to this area here or whether we're going to see a little bit of a move back to the 142 75 handle is what i'm really looking for uh for this potential euro yen move now the breakout opportunity is forming because price is moving sideways here. And you can kind of see that from different areas before. You know, price was moving sideways. Here, we broke to the upside. We rallied back up towards these highs in there. Is that going to happen again, essentially? Are we going to see price come back through, trade into this previous structure high, this resistance area here, before moving down again? Or are we going to come all the way back down to this 142 spot 75 handle from our higher time frame where we could then see an, a bit more of an extended move? Because if I just pop back to that monthly time frame for a second, you can see we're almost forming a bit of a pin candle off the previous high at the moment. And I know it's early into the month, but is that going to sort of set the precedent here for price to move back to the upside there? Now, price is obviously waiting for some kind of catalyst to, to push price here. You can even argue on this four hour time frame, you've got an almost like a head and shoulders pattern. So, you know, things are starting to point either towards the downside or to the upside. You know, we haven't really got a clear picture here. Now, that's why I'm looking for a breakout opportunity because in those times, you don't really want to be trading within this consolidation pattern. You want to wait for price to do something first. So one or two things could happen. We want to see a close above. If we see a close above, that will give us the opportunity to trade to the 144 uh, spot 70 handle up here. Okay. If not, and break to the downside, we've then got an opportunity to trade back to the 142 spot 75, where we could then look for the longer term opportunities. So a bit more of a sort of technical idea based around this hourly little range that's being developed in the market. Okay, so if we see anything 
develop there, that could be an opportunity for sort of your day traders uh, to look for your opportunities to the downside or to the highs that have recently formed here. So hopefully that made sense. If it did, leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more of our Forex trading content. And I'll catch you in the next video.